This example is going to show the benefits of Z limits to a toolpath for 5 axis users. This example is going to be a simultaneous 5 axis program that was created using the strategy of surface projection finishing. When we simulate this toolpath here, we will be able to see that as the toolpath goes round, it covers the whole job in a continual 5 axis motion. However, when we have jobs that continue a 5 axis, sometimes we require a bit more control over where we want to machine on the job easily without affecting any other things we may have done and to do it as simply as possible. For this example here, that first whole toolpath has been cloned. When it is cloned, we have limited the range in Z just to machine the top. When we look at the settings, we can see here within the limits that the maximum height has not been set. We've let PowerMill calculate that for us, but we've limited the depth in Z to minus 50 millimeters. The toolpath has been created at 50 millimeters in nice easy one motion. This allows us to come back, edit later on and easily control and change the values. If we'd split that using limit the toolpath and editing it previously, it would have been more difficult to have done. We can clone this straight into the middle section and what we'll see here is that while we have limited the toolpath to a range in Z logically placed under the limit of between minus 50 and minus 100 millimeters by setting two Z limits we can see the tool axis and the tool axis pro here approaches are not as desirable or we may wish to machine. I'll do a copy of this toolpath just to show how easy it is to change. Just by selecting that we can go in go into edit, go into reorder, move all these to the start, finish and done. Using Dalcam's unique and powerful tool, editing, tool path editing capabilities we've been able to choose a very nice cutter path very easily. A simple and yet powerful way of demonstrating PowerMill's 5-axis Z-limits to toolpath new functionality.